Have you ever been working in Google Sheets and wished you could send an email notification directly from the sheet using some of the data from that row? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take data from a row like this and then using a checkbox to send an email directly to that person and it will show up just like this. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So let's go ahead and create the app script by extensions and app script here. And so basically we need to do three things. First of all, we need to figure out when the sheet is being edited and specifically when this checkbox is checked. Then we need to grab the data. So for example, we check this checkbox, we need to grab the data from here, and then we need to put that data into an email and send that. So let's go ahead and do this. We'll just call it script. And then what I'm going to use is a on edit function. And so you can use something like on edit here. Um, and when you authorize this, will, this will run automatically. However, this is only going to work for if you've authorized a script. So what I'm gonna demo is, I'm just gonna rename this to something else. And it doesn't matter what it's called. Um, let's just call this check my sheet or something like that. Um, it doesn't matter what this is called. I'll show you where we add that trigger in a moment. Um, but if we use something besides on edit, then we're gonna actually manually add a trigger. And then this will work no matter who is using your sheet. So let's go ahead and get some stuff. So an on edit trigger runs every time the Google Sheet is edited. And then this E, or you could just call this uh, event or something like that. Uh, we'll just call it E, just keep it short. Contains data about what was edited. So for example, we can do let range equals e dot range. And what this is gonna get is the range that was edited. And so from that, we can, for example, get the column. So we'll say range dot get column, just like that. We can also get the row that was edited, range dot get row. And so you can probably tell from this point, we can figure out what column was edited and make sure it's this column. And then let's get a couple other things. We need to figure out what tab. So you may wanna restrict it to only work on certain tabs. And so we'll do that by doing e.source. So there's a different method. And then get active sheet. Uh, I need to do let source equal. Actually assign it to something. So then this is going to be the active sheet that got edited. And then finally, let's get the value. So range.get value. So this will give us not enough to get started. And so what I'm gonna do is use an if statement and then inside these parentheses, I'm gonna put the conditions that we want to check. So for example, we could say if source.getName is equal to, and notice I use two equal signs, and that's saying is equal to, not this one assigns. So this is comparative, this is assigning. So we wanna to check to see if, let's say the tab name is project management. So we can do something like that. So there's one condition, but we also wanna make sure that we're in this column with send alert, because we don't want just anything popping it off. And you may have multiple ones with check boxes. So I'm just checking equals column, so we don't have to count. And so eight, this is column eight, and I'm gonna X out so I don't overwrite that. So we'll do and column equals eight, and then let's make sure the value is true. So what this is gonna do is if the tab is project management, if the column that was edited is H and the value is true, and so when you check one of these values is true, then we want to send that email. So we've gotten the first part, we got the checkbox now figured out, now we need to get this data here and then put together an email. So to get this data, let's go ahead and we need to access the spreadsheet, so we'll do Spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet. And then let's go ahead and get the sheet. Sheet by name, source, get name. And then now let's get that data. She got range. And then we have that row. And then we'll just get starting column one and number rows and then number of columns. And so we'll just do seven and then get values and flat. And the reason why I do flat is because the array comes in like this. So it would be like uh, this, and then it puts data in here. But we want to strip out these just to make it a little easier. So 
You don't necessarily need to know what exactly that does, but we'll show you how to work with this. So we can use this data immediately and just start a mail app. And I'm using mail app instead of Gmail app just because it has more restrictive permissions. So it's a little safer to use if you don't need the Gmail app. All right, so we can do uh, this, these object brackets here, and then we can do two. Or if you want to, you can do something like this, and then you just do email, subject, and body. And you can see that there. But we want to do an HTML body, just give you more flexibility. And so in that case, what we'll do is here, uh, subject, and then HTML body, and then we can use HTML tags in here. So let's go ahead and just do that. And then, oops, two back ticks, and then two back ticks, just so we can save this. So these are back ticks, not single quotes. So single quotes, double quotes, and then back tick is on my keyboard above the tab key. And so what this allows us to do is use pieces of data from here. So this, we don't necessarily need this. Let's just go ahead and take that email. So the email we want to send to is this one. And so if we check the column, this is column seven. So you'd think we'd do data seven in here, but when you do data like this, it actually starts at zero, not one. And so whenever you count and do this, make sure you just subtract one. So that we have the correct column. So this will give us our email here that we want to send the alert to. And then we just want to grab the rest of this data and send it through. So we could grab, for example, these headers here, and then uh, maybe in here we'll go like this. <laughs> um, but first of all, let's get the subject. So let's go ahead and just say alert for, and then we'll use this template tag. So dollar sign curly brace and end curly brace, so left and right. Inside this, we can do, so this was the email, but we can do something else in here. So let's say the project name. And so that would be data. And again, not one, but we start at zero. So what this would end up doing is say alert four. And if we had this column checked, it would say forced. So alert for forced. Or we could say alert for project forced. And so you can do whatever you want. You can pull more data in here. You could say if it was something where you wanted to send an alert for due date, then you could put the due date in there and so forth. So let's go ahead and just pull in our data here. So we have our column headers and then let's pull in that data. So I'm just gonna add some new lines here just to make this a little easier to understand. You don't need these new lines. This just makes it a little easier to see what we're doing and it doesn't mess up what we're doing here in this string. So if you're worried about that, we're okay. So what I'm gonna do is, just to make this look a little nicer, we can use HTML tags. So I'm gonna use strong just around these tags here. And then we'll put that data over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add these bold tags around all of our titles here. And then let's go ahead and add, let's go ahead and just add this whole thing here. I don't want these all on one line, so I'm gonna add a new line tag here. It's just BR at the end of these. And now all we gotta do is fill in that data. So we already have the project one here, the data is zero. So we can fill that in. And if you look through, we put these in the same order, so we can actually just put these all in and then increment them by one. So this would be data two, status would be three, Milestone will be four, and notes would be five. All right, so now we got our email put together. We have our email address, our email subject, and an HTML body. So now all we need to do is add our trigger so this will start running. So let's go ahead and just authorize this real quick, and then we'll set up the trigger. So if we click Run here, this isn't actually going to work, but it's gonna ask us for authorization to both the Google Sheet and access to send emails. So we'll click our Google account. And then this is Google's just alert to make sure people know that they did not make it. And so if you make your own app, then you should be fine. So just go to advanced, go to script, and then it tells you what permissions it's asking for. 
So it wants access to the Google Sheet so it can get the data, and then it wants to be able to send email. So we'll click Allow. And then it has this type error because this is meant to run as a on edit trigger. And so this doesn't have any data when we run it from the script editor. But when we run it from the on edit, then it will work fine. So finally, all we gotta do is go to triggers and then let's add a trigger here. And then here is our function name. And so if you named it something else, if you named it master email notification script, then that would show up there. So just make sure you select the correct one. And then we want to change this to on edit. And as long as this is head and this is spreadsheet, then you should be fine. And this is the default, but if it happened to be time driven, you just want to make sure you change that back to from spreadsheet. And then make sure this is on edit. And then once that's done, just click save. And then once it finishes saving, it'll show up here. And so normally this is where you show up and see the, the script. And so if you ever need to get back to it, just go here on the clock icon, and you can see that again. So if you ever need to delete it, you can just do it from here and do delete trigger. All right, so now that we've done that, this should be good to go. So we do have a security alert because we authorized the script. Let's go ahead and get rid of that just so we can make sure we're doing this correctly. And then let's go ahead and uh, let's do this, this project here. So client just signed, we need to get the ball rolling. So we'll click send alert, and then this should send us an email. So there we go, there's our email. If we click on this, we can see some of the data there. And so these days look kind of funky. And so before we wrap this up, I'll show you how to make those look nicer. And then the other thing you notice is this checkbox is still here. And in the demo at the beginning, I showed you there was this little message that said email sent. So we're just gonna wrap this up by showing you how to pretty up this dates here and how to uncheck the checkbox and have that little message saying email sent. So the, the dates here is we're going to use a utilities and let's see, format date. And then let's go ahead and put this inside new date. And so what we're doing is making sure that, that the app script recognizes this as a date, not as text. And so it's going to convert to a date. And then what we need to do is, and if you look over here, you need date time zone, and then format. So the time zone, we're just gonna grab that from the spreadsheet. And so we can just do literally ss.get spreadsheet time zone. And then finally format, let's just do month, day, and year as a two digit thing, just like that. Uh, make sure we get our double quote to finish it out. And make sure that saves correctly. And perfect. So instead of typing this all out again for the due date, I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna modify our piece here referencing our data. So let me just do this and then change this to, and then that will make our date look prettier. And then two more things. First of all, we wanna uncheck this checkbox. And so let's just uncheck it for now. And then let's go ahead and set it up here. So let's scroll back over. So if this is true, and then this is where the end of the if statement is. So after we send the email, let's go ahead and uncheck that checkbox. So we already have the tab or the sheet here. So let's just say sheet.getRange, and then we have row and column, and then all we gotta do is uncheck. And so that's gonna take whatever we edited, if it matches those conditions, so it's on this tab, the column is an eight and the value is true, then it's gonna send this email, and then after that, we want to uncheck that checkbox. All right, so last thing is, let's do that alert message. And so what we used here was toast. And so we're just using that SS for spreadsheet, and then toast, and then we can put a message. So the message could be email notification sent successfully. And then optionally, we can add a title for that. So we could say status, for example, or success, if you like. You can do whatever message you like there. And then finally, you can do how long you want to display. So indefinitely, you can do negative one, and that will show up until they exit out. Or we could just put a couple seconds, just like that. All right, so now let's go ahead and make sure our new functions are working correctly. So let's go ahead and send another one for this one. So checkbox. Unchecked, 
there's a little pop-up notification. And if we go over here, there is our email and voila, our dates are now a little nicer and friendlier to the eye. All right, that is it for today. Make sure to check out our other videos on Google Sheets and App Script to help you get faster and more efficient on your projects. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.